so what we got here today it's a new toy so I got a plasma cutter table and this one is from Eastwood it's the Versicat 2x2 uh, in no mean I'm doing any advertise for them okay the table was in a decent price uh, assembly was absolutely horrible the, the instruction for them was so bad that like we have to take it apart like three times now even this connected look like the right way it's the wrong way they change it this is supposed to hold here but still it's work we just did the first cut here you need to have a plasma cutter and then you need a big compressor and then you need to program and we're gonna do this motor style uh, sign for outside of our shop and later we're gonna make parts for our airplane with this machine and let's start so to start it all you need to do is press the green button after you have the program and if you're lucky enough it will work <laughs> and then it says to start cut and then when it says start cut you have to put your glasses if you don't want to get blind and let's do this it will cycle up and down and then start Now during the process it will stop and run a couple of times. For me it's very hard to see it right now because I'm looking at the camera and I'm looking for a, a welding goggle. Now, I also would like to say, you need to put inside uh, a plasma liquid. It's a liquid that's presenting actually rust. We did not put it because it's the first cut and we're not sure where the table is going to be. So, we do a test cut, it's not causing any type of damage, so it's going to be just fine. So far, the sparks are not really horrible. So when you do this, you don't really have to worry about it too much, about burning your house. Uh, especially if you're going to have your, um, you're going to have in the system your liquid, the liquid actually prevent all this. And out here it's monitor, it tell you where it's go right now. It does throw some fire here and there. So the liquid, what it presents is all the sparks that you see right now. Now we are cutting a stainless steel and it's pretty thin. Um, this material is about uh, one and a half millimeters and it, so far it's, it's doing just fine. On a thicker material you have to do a different program and you have to slow down the machine 
in order to have the cut actually going all the way through. So this is something that is very, very important to know when you, whenever you do a cut. something weird happened it just literally stopped in the middle of the work I don't know why so during the cut uh, the machine just stopped working the plasma is working you know like it's working it don't you not have any problem compressor is working and this is just stopped midway and I don't even know what you're supposed to do from here it's just stopped working and got stuck that's why I said that I don't recommend them they have a lot of problems and bugs it, whatever it cut it cut good but now I lost a hundred dollar piece of metal there so we crashed it and then he asked if it's re to recover let's tell it to start and see what will happen nothing Absolutely nothing. We just put in air, but it's not doing anything. Yeah, did absolutely nothing. And the light keeps staying on Pierce. Let's push it again. Okay, so we continue here with this contraption and what happened was the consumable, this uh, just eating after a very, very short time. Um, problem is that the the metal is warping so it's Saturday there's nowhere to buy it so I will tell you what I did so if it's happened to you you don't worry about getting parts um, 
you take it out you take it apart and then this cone over there brass piece you just take it and I just punch it with a nail and I make a hole in it again it's literally completely got welded shut uh, let me uh, show you what to how to start it back the machine is off right now and what I'm going to do I'm going to release the emergency and then it's going to ask if to do recovery press any key and then it's going to go um, to do I don't know if you can see it it said to us to do recovery and then you have to tell him yes and then it's going to continue now one thing that had just happened uh, if you have a big compressor and a plasma cutter and you're using the same plug in a garage uh, it's pulling too much amp uh, you need to have two different breakers uh, if you have a 210 or 250 or whatever and a 110 uh, this will work better so let's do this real quick start the machine move and start again and let's see if it's going to arc what do you know done so after you do that uh, let it cool down and what I'm gonna do now so I can have better access I'm gonna move this all the way so it's going to the other side of the plasma then I have the screen here more valuable for me now um, it's not hot it's not super hot so everything actually the side of this piece, I think it's just landing on. It's uh, end up pretty good. Let's get rid of the rest. Give it a shake. So, oh, another very important tip. I grounded this, but I also, um, after it's gave me a hard time, I end up clamping it to the table. Just in case there's going to be any type of movement. Um, so it's not if you move the machine the metal will not move so you stay the same place and it's worked actually pretty good because the entire circle and everything was good now this is stainless steel it's not a regular metal it still is a metal but yeah, yeah not a regular one but I was having kind of couple challenges with it I think so let's see all the letters Kind of, let's give it a shake. Ah, it still have a small ear right there. I think I can, oh, and I hear one right, right there. So it still got two ears. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut them by hand. Uh, one there and one here. The entry, oh, it's hot. The entry and the exit. But overall, if you take all those out, The cool thing is that I can clean those letters and use them as well. So, I did not put the liquid again in, in it. Um, I was not sure where it's gonna go, so I don't want it to have wet. Also, I don't want to have moisture in the garage because of the airplane. Now there was some spark flying toward it, but they're very like they, they literally dry and get cold before they hit in anything, so it's not a big deal. So now the issue that I have over here, I'm just gonna cut it real quick by hand. I'm gonna see where else I have this uh, issue. Think over here, right there. But other than that, everything else um, end up pretty pretty nice and good over here okay let me clean it and I'm gonna show it back one second so I just cut the edges where where I had the problem but I just want to show real quick so you release the plasma cutter from the machine you grab it they have the stupid child proof bullshit in here 
you have to move it aside and then as soon as you put it on the metal uh, it's already connected so you just press it and it's ready to cut okay so uh, this one happened earlier this is what got plugged it's open now i'm going to clean it again i are going to shove it here because i need to adjust it anyway and let's look at this real quick actually and up really really nice let's put it outside of here let's put it on the maybe on the gray asphalt Ta -da! and this is the sign for my shop i'm gonna clean it up and paint it and i can put it outside of my shop right now don't forget like subscribe and share if you have any question about some of the problem just ask me if i can i will answer bye